In this video, I'm going to explain why I foresee Streamer being one of the most important projects in the deep end space moving forward and how it will solve a huge problem that exists today. And that problem roots from the actual acronym deep end itself, which obviously stands for Decentralized Physical Infrastructure Network. But the problem has to do with the decentralized part, and that's because most deep end projects are not actually fully decentralized. Many are still using centralized entities like AWS for data storage and transfer. Now it's worth noting that in my personal experience and speaking with different founders of different deep end projects, when I bring this subject up to them, they're not opposed to moving away from AWS. And in fact, many of them would love to move to a decentralized solution, but up until this point, they haven't really had a tried and true option. Well, until now. That's because Streamer is a fully decentralized peer-to-peer -peer network for real-time data streaming. And after building for nearly seven years, they essentially have an enterprise-grade solution with a full suite of options available. Now, I know fully decentralized peer-to-peer -peer network for real-time data streaming is a bit of a tongue twister, so I'm gonna break down exactly what that means with one of my favorite projects as an example, Demo. And Demo, by the way, has been built on Streamer since day one. Now, starting with the decentralized part, through Streamer, Demo is able to send data without a centralized entity like AWS having any control over it or even touching the data at all. The way it works, is that one vehicle will send the data to four more vehicles and each one of those vehicles will send it to four more and so on and so forth, hence the peer-to-peer -peer part. In doing so, the data is able to be transferred or streamed in real time. Now, why might a project move to a solution like Streamer over an AWS, you might ask? Well, let's break down the advantages. First off, by avoiding a centralized solution, you don't have a single point of failure, which I can tell you from experience is a very important aspect. The last company I worked for used AWS and we had several outages not only was it incredibly disruptive to our business, but it cost the business a lot of money. And speaking of costs, AWS services tend to be very expensive. In fact, they are one of the biggest operating expenses for businesses today. And Streamer is a fraction of the cost compared to a service like AWS. Now your data is also censorship resistant and it is self-sovereign, meaning it is fully owned by the person or the entity that created the data. And I think this is really important to highlight because we are seeing more and more about how these centralized entities have been using and selling our data. Not to mention the amount of hacks that we've seen on their servers and the data breaches that have taken place. And for those reasons, I think the ability to transfer data without having to rely on any centralized entity is going to be more and more sought after over time. But that does bring me to the question of security because the data is transferred through different peers within the network. Well, Streamer offers seamless end-to-end -end encryption. In other words, while the data is being transferred through peers in the network, if they were to look at the data, it would essentially look like jumbled garbage. It wouldn't mean anything. Only the original sender and the intended final recipient have the keys to decrypt or unlock that data. Another major benefit is that by using cryptographic signing, parties are able to verify the integrity and the source of the data. In other words, you can be sure that the data came from the intended source and that there was no alteration of the data during the transfer process. Now, I also want to touch on something I mentioned earlier, which is the fact that Streamer has been building for seven years. And I think this is actually one of their biggest differentiators. After being found back in 2017 in Switzerland, they went through three different test nets over a period of six years before having their mainnet launch earlier this year. This is a very different approach from most projects in the crypto space. Because let's be honest, I would say that most projects are mostly concerned with their token launch and marketing their project. And in doing so, many of them end up pushing their mainnet launch prematurely. And you really can't blame them because crypto investors tend to lack patience and are always going after that shiny new object or chasing the new narrative. But in the end, the vast majority of those projects, while they may pump in a bull run, are nowhere to be found in the next market cycle. Now, I believe that this market cycle is going to be the one where we start to see true utility, which is something this industry has needed for a long time. Time, and I think that bodes very well for Streamer. Now, as I let off with, I do think that Streamer is going to be absolutely critical for Deepin. And as Deepin continues to grow, that's going to be a very good thing for this project. Now, aside from Demo, they're working with right around 20 Deepin projects. They partner with IOTEX, but they're not just going after the crypto markets. They are also going after traditional Web2 companies. In fact, they've already done POCs with the likes of Hewlett Packard and Bosch and are currently doing a POC with the Ferrari race team. And they're launching something called Gateway Services, which which essentially allow them to bring on these traditional types of companies and make it so that their user experience is no different than working with any other company to the extent that they don't even have to know they're working with a crypto project at all. But looking at their token price, 
It did take a little bit of a dip back when we had that flash crash in August down to about two and a half cents. It has recovered pretty nicely, but it's only trading at around a $39 million market cap. So I do think there is a lot of upside from here. And as the DPIM space continues to grow, which is expected to see exponential growth, I do think that Streamer will see mass adoption and there is a very bright future ahead for this project. But let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. As always, I appreciate your viewership. Signing off, this is Bradley Meyer with the DPIM Connection.